learning about women writers and their works. The Handmaid's Tale, 1985, by Margaret Atwood. language education in Spain for advanced learners. That's called Level C1. Based on selections of what I read, the methodology here intends to help people learn to learn from reading excerpts from an original work. Learn to learn in terms of the English language and knowledge about other people and the learner's own world. About the novel, Speculative Fiction According to Atwood. Source Wikipedia. The Handmaid's Tale is a 1985 dystopian novel, or Black Utopia, by Canadian author Margaret Atwood. Set in a near future New England, in a totalitarian Christian theonomy that has overthrown the US government, the novel explores themes of women in subjugation and the various means by which they gain individualism and independence. The novel's title echoes Chaucer's The Canterbury Tales, which comprises a series of connected stories like The Merchant's Tale or The Parson's Tale. The novel has been adapted into a film in 1990, an opera in the year 2000, a TV series in 2017, and other media. Source Wikipedia. The Handmaid's Tale is structured in two parts, night and other various events. The night sections are Offred's Tale, and that's the main character, and the other includes stories describing the possible life of every handmaid. The plot. Set within the borders of what was formerly the USA, a fundamentalist Christian reconstructionist movement calling itself the Sons of Jacob launches a revolution and suspends the US Constitution under the pretext of restoring order. The new regime in the Republic of Gilead moves quickly to consolidate its power and reorganize society along a new militarized hierarchical model of Old Testament-inspired social and religious fanaticism among its newly created social classes. In this society, human rights are severely limited and women's rights are even more curtailed. For example, women are forbidden to read. Excerpts from articles from popsugar.com news, Margaret Atwood interview about The Handmaid's Tale, May 2017. With Trump, people are starting to see it can happen here. F the 5th of June, 2017 by Kate Jackson Sebelhouse. Well, this is an excerpt. Margaret Atwood knows a thing or two about authoritarian governments. She was living in West Berlin in the 1980s at the time when she wrote The Handmaid's Tale, her classic novel about a dystopian America under the rule of authoritarian Christian men. During her time there, the German city was encircled by the Berlin Wall and the Cold War raged. Under the circumstances, she experienced some of what her main character, Alfred, encounters in the Republic of Gilead, namely the feeling of being spied on, and the clever ways people trade information under duress. But her research didn't stop there. She turned up several other instances of man-made oppression, as she wrote, like bans on reading and education, public executions, gag orders, slavery, the history of American polygamy, and the children of Argentina's disappeared. Source, the New York Times, book reviews. Margaret Atwood on what the handmaid's tale means in the age of Trump by herself. Uh, written on the 10th, or published on the 10th of March, 2017. 
There are three quotes I will read. The first is, During my visits to several countries behind the Iron Curtain, Czechoslovakia, East Germany, I experienced the wariness, the feeling of being spied on, the silences, the changes of subject, the oblique ways in which people might convey information, and these had an influence on what I was writing. Second quote. Having been born in 1939 and come to consciousness during the Second World War, I knew that established orders could vanish overnight. Change could also be as fast as lightning. It can't happen here, could not be depended on. Anything could happen anywhere, given the circumstances. Third quote is, the Republic of Gilead is built on a foundation of the 17th century Puritan roots that have always lain beneath the modern day America we thought we knew. Atwood calls her novel speculative because by parting from human events that had taken place, she extended their meaning, imagined what could be. I hope that people will finally come to realize that there is only one race, the human race, and that we are all members of it. Margaret Atwood in my next video, I'll read excerpts from chapter 4 and chapter 5 to show you how to use literature to work on language learning. More? Check out language learning from reading.wordpress.com for handouts. <laughs>